Hi there. I'm, uh, I'm at the Ooze Valley Viaduct, which is also called the Balkan Viaduct. It's in the uh, heart of Sussex. Um, it's been described as one of Britain's most elegant viaducts by people who know about these things in some book that I've never read and will never read, but apparently it's uh, Britain's most elegant viaduct. It was built in 1841. Um, used about 11 million bricks, which were all from Newcastle upon time. Let's see if we can see the train going past. Hello! This is also called the Balkan Viaduct because that's the closest railway station. However, if you're ever going from London to Brighton or anywhere in between and you see that your train stops at Balkan, Balkan then um, I'd pr probably consider getting another train because that's going to take an eternity. And don't ever get off because there'll never be another train to get you back to where you need to go. The viaduct has 37 arches and are about 30 foot wide each. It's 1,500 feet long, that's about 450 metres. 110 trains a day seem to pass uh, along this track. Okay, so the viaduct runs over the River Ouse. This is the River Ouse. Doesn't look really very big, does it? Doesn't really look like it would warrant this enormous 1,500 metre long viaduct running over it. Um, but you know what the Victorians were like, they loved all that kind of stuff. Let's build something enormous just to get over a tiny river that a man could probably jump across. Out. So if you are in the United Kingdom, if you're in Sussex, um, check it out, drive here with a car, but don't get public transport, you'll never get home. Uh, the town of Balcombe's got a few little things going on there, there's a pub and a nice little churchyard, but it's really just a pit stop. And it wasn't until my friend uh, John Tostevin, who's a photographer, he uh, did some photo shoots here with some beautiful ladies, and after I finished admiring them, I said, where, where is that? And it was literally just a few miles away from my home. So um, it is a little hidden treasure here in the heart of Sussex.